Hi everyone. In this video, we go through how you can figure out what type of light bulb you're using at home. If you already know what types you have, then I suggest skipping to the next part. Maybe the easiest way to do this is to show pictures of the main types of light bulbs found in US homes. Far and away, the most common light bulb used is the incandescent A-series regular household bulb. It's easily recognisable with its classic shape, about 2.5 inches wide and about 3.5 inches long. It has a common screw-in base and dates back to the start of last century, with the great American inventor Thomas Edison being largely responsible for its adoption. These days, an A-series like this one, either with a glass bulb or a frosted one, can come in various sizes, some bigger, some smaller, and in different wattages, with 40 watt and 60 watt the most common. The only way to know how many watt your light bulb is, is to take a close look and hopefully find it written on the bulb. The A-series light bulb was adapted to use fluorescent technology in the 80s. Fluorescent technology used less electricity for the same light output and lasted longer. So manufacturers started to make the white twisty CFLs as a replacement to A-series incandescent bulbs. The next most popular light bulb found in US homes today is the MR16. This little bulb is mostly used in small downlights and spotlights. It's been around since the late 60s. The MR packs a lot of punch in its small size. The MR16 comes in two distinct types, the MR16 bi-pin and the GU10. And these days the MR16 comes both in the original incandescent halogen version and less commonly the CFL version. A note about the number that comes after a bulb type, like A19 or PAR30 or MR16. In the US the number references the width of the light bulb in eighths of an inch, so an MR16 is two inches across the face. The next type of light bulb found in the US are the PAR lamps. PARs are more perhaps used as a spot or floodlight in and around the home. They are also quite popular in commercial applications. Because they are quite powerful with an intensified light beam, they are used where a simple light bulb is not strong enough or too far away. PARs come in plenty of sizes with the most common being PAR20, PAR30 and PAR38. The bigger the number, the bigger and more powerful the PAR. Next we have the BR series. BRs look similar to PAR lamps and are generally as powerful. The big difference in design is that while PARs generally offer a narrower spotlight, BRs offer more of a wide floodlight. Both PARs and BRs have the universal screw-in base and come in the same sizes. Although not very common, PARs and BRs also come in a CFL version that looks much like the incandescent version. Ever heard of the term halogen? Halogen is a gas added to incandescent light bulbs to extend lifetime and improve light output. Almost all incandescent bulbs these days have halogen gas added, so calling them a halogen is commonplace. This covers 99% of light bulbs found in US homes today, and the good news is that there is an LED replacement for all of them. Now if you know what type of light bulb you have and can find its wattage labelled, then you're in a good place to choose an LED bulb to replace it. Here's a quick table that shows the LED replacement for those types of bulbs described above. That's it for today guys. In part 8 we go through CRI and colour temperature. 